it's comic book time. <laughs> so, uh, first off, before I get into all the particulars, uh, this right here is Marvel Presents Guardians of the Galaxy number 10. Origin of Starhawk concludes Al Milgram, Bob Wycheck, uh, he's got the art, Al Milgram the cover. Yeah, 9.4. Um, I don't have that many Marvel presents, and I got another one in here. Uh, it's nothing too big, but it is high, high grade, and it's not graded. But I'm just going to show this, and then I'm probably going to... Because I want to put them up together. But for now, we'll just go ahead and kick him to the side. All right. Got me a Facebook call. My buddy is calling it quits. And I have to go and grab my books from him. I mean, he'll still keep them for me, but um, I would like to try to get it out of the way. So I've been trying to sell some uh, some books so I can uh, square up with him. And I bought was like almost 40 books. Um, run fillers, nothing too big. Um, yeah, we'll just call it like that. It's nothing too big. If I do, I'll let you know. Some cool art, though, and some books that uh, I want to start collecting. So some of these are pretty new to uh, my collecting style. But um, I am collecting Batwoman, the new 52. Um, I got majority of this run. I'm just trying to, you know, grab the, the fillers. So basically, Facebook, he had a claim sale, so it wasn't really an auction. And I used to showcase the um, him or the halls from my past channel. So basically, you know, he has a price, and then you just claim, take it. You know, it was it's like that, not a not a bid thing. So these books range from prices from one dollar, no, fifty cents to uh, a dollar to, you know, there's some other, there's some books in here that are, you know, maybe five, six bucks, but nothing big, like I said, and yeah, so let's get back to the haul. <laughs> Catwoman uh, in the New 52, number 33, some 75th mumbo jumbo. Uh, Issa Bridic in House of M, number six. I just started getting into that. I do like his art. I didn't like it for the Eternals, but I'm digging it for every. I mean, all the rest of the Marvel characters. So got that. Uh, this is probably my second copy. Alex Ross, The Amazing Spider-Man, number 15. Uh, the new Iron Spider, Mary Jane cover. It's always good to get those. Um, I am collecting uh, this, uh, I think, I don't know what volume it is. Maybe the second? I don't know. Greg, Lan I mean, uh, Greg Horn has some of these books, or he does some of the covers. So this is the, the she, or, yeah, She-Hulk, number six. That's a, was that a Mike Mayhew cover? Yeah, Mike Mayhew cover. Cool, right? Cool art. Uh... Dead No More, The Clone Conspiracy, Gabriel Delato. Right? Cool art. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have another one that he, he does, but this is number two. Cool. 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 And then last of the moderns, uh, The Amazing Spider-Man 658. This is... Well, no. Here we go. Future Foundation costume debuted in FF01, you know, number one. 2011. This is a Marco Djurvic, Djurvic cover. <laughs> so that costume was in uh, the 2011 Fantastic Four number one. Yeah. All right. So now this is my bread and butter. I I love 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 bronze the copper. I even like silver too, but um, I will take the bronze when I can. Um, this book is an Al Milgram cover, All-Star Comics, Justice Society of America. This book's all right. 
I thought it was a, a Huntress appearance, so that's why I I just grabbed it. But I do like the art. Al Milgram is always a, one of my favorite artists. Um, it does have some... It's number 70, and you can't really even see the 7. It's right up there in the corner, see? And then the sense to the 35 is gone. So I don't know if it's been trimmed. Don't know. But that's a Bronze Age 35 center. And then I got uh, the whole limited series, four limited series of Firestar. Uh, that's uh, Barry Windsor Smith, number four. Uh, Arthur Adams and Bill Sienkiewicz inks on Firestar number three, which was cool. And then both of these are Mary Winshire, Winshire uh, covers. That's number two and number one. So basically, I got I got two directs and two newsstands. So that's it's eh, pretty cool for a seventy-five centy. I'll take it. Um, Squadron Supreme uh, number. Th oh wait, yeah. Well, it doesn't matter. I showed you now. Uh, number three, which is no big. Bob Hall, Bob Layton. Bob Hall, Bob Layton, number four. I do like that. I want to get that whole, whole run, so I'm working on that. Uh, I got this. This is Gazzler, number 33. It's the tribute to Michael Jackson's thriller. Bill Sienkiewicz cover. Uh, it's Dazzler, number 33, in Chiller. Chiller. But this book is just... It's got a lot of spine ticks. So that's a good run. I mean, it's a good placeholder, you might say. Uh, now we're getting into the good stuff. The good stuff. All right, so this is, an, um, this is Avengers Defenders War Part 1. It's a John Romita, John Romita Sr. cover number 115. So that's the start of the Avengers Defenders run or war. So that's cool. Uh, just a Sal Bushima, uh, Marvel 2 in 1 thing in Tigra, number 19. No biggie there. George Perez cover and Joe Sonat inks in the Fantastic Four, number 183. That book's in good shape. For basically a white cover. The other one's alright too, but it's got, I don't know. Those are just fillers. Marvel 2 and 1. Ron Wilson cover, number 40, with a thing in Black Panther. Alan Cooperberg, which is a um, Marvel 2 and 1 annual thing in the Hulk, number 5. Squarebound. I can practice on this book. But I have another one I'm going to practice too. It's got a, right there by the M, it's got a spine. It's a split or a gash. All right, whatever. Uh, John Byrne cover. It's got, um, what's his name? Tyrax? Yeah. I'm going to say Fantastic Four 213. I love me um, uh, John Byrne Fantastic Four. John Byrne is uh, one of my favorites, just like Al Milgram. Uh, oh gosh, this cover, I can't really even pronounce her name, so, no, oh, his name, his last name, Leo, Leo, I don't know, Steve. Um, Spider-Woman, number 42, I'm collecting this, that's a nice newsstand, Silver Samurai, and this right here, ooh, there we go, Death of Modoc, John Byrne cover, and Captain America 313, nice. Murdoch. Oh, Modoc. Murdoch. Modoc screams bloody murder. And then I thought this was first cosmic uh, Spider Man, but uh, this is an Alex Sevovic in Web of Spider Man 104. So I didn't really have any of my notes in front of me, and plus, he kind of goes kind of fast. So you gotta just, you gotta just freaking know your shit. <laughs> but uh, 
Yeah. And I kind of had an idea of what I need. But yeah, that's that's what I thought. And then Web of Spider-Man. Ooh, Charles Vest. Annual number two. That's in really good shape as well. So Spidey in the black suit. Not the Venom suit. All right, then. This right here, yeah. This is the one. Marvel Presents Guardians of the Galaxy number 12. This is an Al Milgram cover. So it goes well with uh, the origin of, of Starhawk. So I thought that was pretty dope. I mean, that's a, that's a nice book. It's in really good shape, too, as well. Fine, easily, very fine. So whatever. No significance on that book. <laughs> now this book, for some strange reason... I thought it was the third, the third Black Adam, and no, I think it's a couple of a uh, couple of issues before then. But this is World's Finest, number two sixty seven. I'm a big for DC. I'm a big Jim Aparo. Jim Aparo, he does a lot of Batmans. He also did some uh, work for DC Comics Presents, uh, World's Finest. So, all right. So the last book is, uh, it's in decent shape, but for the price that I got for it, I mean, I got it for, it probably just didn't matter and I just picked it up anyways. But uh, this is a Jose Luis, Luis Garcia Lopez cover and this is the first Firebug in Bat Batman number 318. And that's... That is it for this video. But, um, yeah, so this... Uh, this book has seen better days. And the price that I got it, I got it for, I just wasn't going to... I mean, yeah, it's got some dog ears. And I really... I mean, I can eventually try to resell it. But, I mean... Probably and nothing. Probably for nothing for, for what I got it for. So, I'll have to try to you know cut my losses on that one. <laughs> but yeah, cool. Um, like, comment, and subscribe, and do all that social media stuff. You guys can also just check out my. Where are you at? Okay, there it is. Yeah, you guys can always uh, hit me up on Instagram, too, as well. All right? Problem for comics. Later.